in, in Jim Henson's biography. The, mm-hmm. uh, What's the name of his biography? It's just Jim Henson. Great. It's oh. not an autobiography. Um, um, uh, by Brian J. Jones came out a few years Stop ago. Stop shaking the I'm not intentionally rock. shaking it. I'm just it doesn't stuff matter up. that it's intentional. Uh, that it's happening. There's a lot of good information about just what a fucking nuisance uh, doll was uh, and kept, you know, compl- I'm going to bring my complaints to Jim Henson himself. But this was this was a very personal project for Jim Henson. Um, Why? His, uh, I don't know. He was just he, he, <laughs> oh. he really loved this story and really had a vision for it. And he his special effects team made the made the costumes, made the did the makeup, did the practical effects, and built the puppets and animatronics for the mice. Um, still, I even even appreciating all of that, I don't like this movie. Okay, what do you think of it when we watched it this time? Um, it it I found it very watchable. Um, I totally see what I liked about it. It's I love Angelica Houston. I I always like the grandma because she believes the kid right away, which is such a fucking relief to me. I that hate, is nice. I hate when kids aren't believed. And it's, and it's just like if the plot's going to hang on you disbelieving this while well, everyone else is also going to disbelieve it. Like, what else are we going to talk about here? Yeah. Um, I do not like mix them ups, which we will talk about in great length when we get to fucking child's play. Mm. I, I guess I just really related to the feeling of being insignificant. Um, feel like this movie really got children correctly. They're to, besides the point. They're in the way. I don't know. They've got sticky fingers. I don't know. I just, uh, I, I found, I, I'm so distracted by the movie being on right now. I'm you sorry. I think, off? yeah, sorry. I'm just like, yeah, let's watch it again. Uh, I thought it was going to be like slow and, and grim in a way that made me uncomfortable. Like who the fuck would ever rewatch this? But it wasn't. I didn't find that at all. I thought all the acting was good, including the kids. Were you scared of it when you were a kid? The only part that truly scared me was the part where the, that, that, that entity, that a living thing could push a, baby in a baby carriage down and and the woman who the mother my baby the way she screams always felt so real there is a scene where a baby carriage is going a baby pram is going down you know the side of a cliff it's purposely pushed down down toward the ocean yeah off of a cliff to its death uh, which the baby survives does not uh, go off the cliff but like probably most alluded to thing in movie history because that originated in battleship potemkin Oh, uh, all right. A Russian Revolution movie where a baby carriage falls down the the steps of Odessa. Uh, I don't know why you need to tell me one where something does happen to the baby when I just told you it's the most disturbing thing to me that something almost happened to a baby. Well, I'm so sorry. Well, d- d- know me more. Things anyway, to babies. There's certain times in certain movies where I feel like it breaks trust, or it does something I don't. S- you just didn't expect in a way that makes me not trust it going forward. So that would have been one of those moments. Um, but then it never happened. There's nothing that dark that happens again. So it regained my trust. Um, but I, it, no, I don't think I would have been scared of this movie. I would have been anxious, but in, in a way that was bearable. Were there movies that you can remember? Like how old were you when you. Probably pretty young. What is, what is pretty young? Seven, eight. I don't know. Um, what movies scared you like at the time? Can you remember? The Good Son. I don't know why I was watching that. Um, I didn't. I, this is why my blind spot is horror. I, I never had anyone to watch it with. I only ever watched comedies and romantic comedies. Those are and my those are my two about, genres. And movies about witches. This is the third witch movie we've watched. Sure. I love past. occult things or just things about others and um but again, this would be a comedy, right? Is this a comedy? Yeah, <laughs> what is this? This is, I mean, I guess. <laughs> this I is think, a family I film? I think what this is, is a horror movie for kids. Then, yeah. Then I guess, okay, so another horror movie for kids would be what? Little Monsters? I don't know. I haven't seen Little Monsters. I think. I, I think, haven't made you watch it. I thought we did it on the podcast. No, a movie that people often cite as a really fucking scary movie from their kid, from their kid was Return to Oz. Oh my Which god! The one with all the heads in the jars. I haven't seen it. I watched it in like seventh grade. I, don't I thought anything about it. that was a fever dream. You're telling me that's a <laughs> real movie? Is it the one with the heads in the jars? Probably. I don't know. That is such a fucked movie. It's a Feruza Balk plays young Dorothy. She she returns to Oz. Oh, 
Maybe maybe we'll do it on the podcast. Oh, what's another one? Uh, a horror movie for kids? Good question. I mean, uh, in my head, Big Bird Goes Home is one. Or, Big Bird Goes Home. Is that what's called? What? Because the entire movie is about him not being able to find home. And for me, that was like the worst thing you could do to it. He just seems so alone. Well, yeah, there's things that, that scare kids. But, but it was there was nothing that was fun about it. <laughs> I want to say Babes in Toyland, also a scary movie for children. I don't I don't know. I My mom talks about how I cried and needed to be removed from the theater during Beauty and the Beast because the Beast scared oh. me. Yeah. Uh, same see. with Cruella de Vil. We saw 100 more okay. donations in like a revival. Uh, <laughs> well, Disney used to send its old movies back. Oh, to I thought you meant like under a church tent. Yeah, under a church tent. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody spoke in tongues and turned into Okay, God, you really. Her last name is Devil. Um, but De- yeah, I don't know. I, that'd be a. I'd like. I, I'll look into that. What are what are horror movies? For I kids? never. It's, it's, it's like funny. such a particular thing that. But I never really considered that the, if there were anything except for supposed to be fun. But you're absolutely right. There are definitely certain movies. Oh, um, then I'd say the Labyrinth. No, I've never seen Labyrinth. How? Okay, I've never seen Dark Crystal. I've tried to. Watch, I've never seen that either. I've tried to. Sw- I've watched like the first thirty minutes of Dark Crystal a bunch of times, and I can't. That's all you need to know. Go on. Or are the um the Never Ending Story. That's another one. Not since I was a kid. If I seen it, there's yeah, there's there's a genre. This this like collection of like secret garden. Ooh, I've seen, oh, that's a little brain beam right there. Okay, I've seen that so many times. Uh, maybe like a little princess of like fantastical sort of movies with some. But there's such a tragic and tragedy. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. What the fuck was I doing? So, I mean, this isn't a fun movie. The, the, this movie, no. No. I mean, it's fun to watch the the, the, the witches transform. There's, Is that, it? That's fun. I mean, it's fun and like, oh, look at the Muppets. It's so cool. Uh, uh, that's not at all what I, I would have once felt. The, once the, all right. So the movie's about a I like a little, when they put their wigs back on. This movie's about a kid who um, whose parents die He's while he's visiting his grandmother in Norway. And... Uh, then he has to live with his with his grandmother now, but that's okay. He likes her more than he liked his parents. Anyway. Okay, there's no indication of that, but can continue. He says that in the narration. No, he fucking didn't. Maybe he only says that in the book. I read the book recently. They're getting uh, uh, mixed together. Helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, this is a kid played by Jason Fisher. You might remember him from Parenthood. Of course I do. He plays Kevin Buckman. He's a good little actor. Uh, he was a, uh, he had a non-speaking role in Hook when he played one of the Lost yep. Boys. He played Ace. And that's it. This, those are the only roles he ever had. Well, you know, he peaked too soon. Uh, don't think he's very good. Don't what? like to say bad things Grandma. about, about, um, about child actors. But this character um, is, an, you know, is English in the book. And they turned him American in the movie. But still said, like, you're going to live in England because apparently this actor cannot do a British accent. But he also can't do an American accent. He's bad. Then what is he? Uh, so he's American. He's so. Then uh, how is he not doing an American I'm accent? Saying he's just he's talking. Not doing, he's not talking well. OK, he's I not, not disagree. A good he sounds just like a little kid to me. His only his only movies are in movies that Lacey Roth has selected for load bearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whoa. I bet he, I bet he's honored. Well, I've helped him live on. He and his grandmother go to a, a hotel and resort. Which in, always seemed like a weird holiday. It doesn't look Cornwall. fun at all. This is. I just want to point out. Yeah. Uh, the movie opens and the, indeed the night the boy's pa- family dies is the night she decides to tell him about the existence of witches. And then they manage to go on their one holiday, you know, just to get over the death of his parents to a witch convention. <laughs> it's just a little, in an amazing a coincidence. Convenient. They're staying at the hotel that's where they're hosting the witches' convention, and um, done that up. Which is well, you know, to witches, kids don't smell good like soap. They, they smell, smell like, like dog droppings. Dogs droppings. Dogs droppings. The possessive. Thing. That is that is from the book. Uh, that for some reason, dogs droppings is, is the most disgusting way. The you can most. Say. 
out of your way, disgusting way to say poop. And he is training these mice. Why does he have these mice? Well, they'll come he needs to be corner. distracted. And he's in a conference room. He's in a he's in a ballroom. He's hiding. He's or he's not supposed to have the mice, but he's teaching them how to tightrope walk and be circus performers. And then the witches come in. He doesn't know that they're witches, so he hides because he doesn't want the hotel people to catch him with his mice. And then they think they're alone, so they all take off all their masks and costumes and reveal they're witches. Oh my god, witches are real. And they're she's Angelica Houston plays the Grand High Witch. And she is very angry is she? at the witches of England for allowing kids to continue being alive. They're not doing a good enough job. Really not wiping them out. In She realized there won't be any adults if she, they keep doing that. In which, <laughs> in which oh, that's 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 like the charming part of it. I like that. What? Oh, that 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 they just would, want completely dead children all there would be a, an organization devoted to kid genocide. Yeah. That is um, charming. Yeah, it's not a good long term. Uh, Angelica Houston is the Grand High Witch and witches apparently are bound by like political boundaries. They can only operate in their own countries. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know that. You must be mixing more stuff with the Maybe, but so she keeps the, saying she keeps saying the witches of England are doing a bad job. Like meaning like, I guess the witches make of Wales stop? or Scotland or France are doing great. Um, but you're only supposed Ooh. to operate on your own territory. And she has a plan. We're going to give sweets to kids and turn them into mice. The way she convulses her body it stays with you. The, uh, 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 the way, whenever she's asking the little boy to come to the stage and she's like having a witch gas. Uh, <laughs> just picturing her in my mind. It's very erotic. It's very sensual. Ah. You could just light a candle and just touch. Stop. Touch the face. So, oh, that's fine. All right. Um, continue. The reason you want to turn kids into mice and not just poison them and kill them is because if you poison kids, people are going to figure out really soon that there's some child murderers. But if you turn them into mice, it's going to be a lot harder to pin it on the witches, especially if you give them sweets that will are time delayed to turn them into mice while they're at school the next day. Question. Question. If they're not also going to turn the adults present at the school, will there not be lots of witnesses that saw lots of children turning into Mice. <laughs> They're never going to see the kids turn into mice. Why? It takes know. a while. Isn't it instantaneous? Did it look instantaneous? That they are only getting one dose. The kids that are going to later on transform. That means their transformation is going to take even longer. the The kid we watched um, change into a mouse was given five hundred doses, and that shit still took a good thirty seconds. <laughs> You don't think there's a, a yeah, slight there's chance? A hole, there's a hole in the plan. Yes, the teachers would see. And all of the little wrinkled up piles of clothing all over the fucking school? Yeah, because their plan hinges on first they're going to turn into mice and then you know what's going to happen. They're going to call the exterminators. And well, wonder- yeah, not if they see the rumpled clothes. You're right. And also see the mon- the mid-transformation monstrosities. Abomination. If there's even yeah. just a few witnesses, I feel like this plan is not going to work. Yeah, if there's even a chance that our kids are turning into mice, we can't call the exterminator. We can't put out the traps. I don't know. It's a stupid plan. The witches are dumb. Hey. That's kind of it. Oh, and then the main kid turns into a mouse. Once he turns into a mouse, I feel like the movie improves. It gets a little momentum, becomes a little more fun. Even so. Grandma. I don't know. He's just kind of running around the hotel. Oh, don't catch me, witches. Got to save myself. Got to save my grandmother. I don't even remember what the fuck happens. I mean, that's basically I mean, it. Walk, walk me through it. What What else? What other good things happen? When you put it like that, <laughs> um, nothing great. Uh, <laughs> here, puss, puss, puss. Um, Man, I meant to look up. I meant to look up the origin of uh, of that word. I, I wanted puss? to know. I wanted to know when 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 was there a period in time when you could no longer say that word and it'd be plausible that you were talking about a cat and not, uh, you know, recently, like recent meaning the 1990s. The 2000s. Oh, I, uh, um, I mean, if you're in England, probably a little later yeah. because there was the eighties in this movie, right? Sure. Going off of his pants, his Velcroed acid washed. Pants. It seems like in the, when the movie opens in Norway, although it looks more like Germany and they're saying, they're, they keep, oh they keep saying German words. It, I was kind of getting snuff. Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory vibes. It seemed like the town from Willy Wonka. Okay. Willy Wonka is a weird movie where it's clearly a little Bavarian town, but some people speak with English accents and some people speak with American accents and there's English currency 
And oh my god! All right. Yeah, well, so many people are relating to what you're saying right now. It's just crazy. Oh, fuck off! You Lacey. fuck right off, Matt. Good one. You shook the cameras again. You fucking oaf. Uh, well. I don't know what else. What what else do you want to say about this fucking movie? It well, was, that this movie, I realized, watching it as an adult, is a metaphor for being a woman. Mm. That the characteristics of which, oh, and they make it very clear that it could be any woman. It doesn't matter how nice she seems. It could be any woman. And I think maybe it's a metaphor for women who don't want to have children. Maybe I think I'm evolving on this because, or women who just don't take to motherhood very well, because. Their feet hurt so much because they're just squared off stumps that they no longer wear nice shoes, pretty shoes. Um, their heads are bald with scabs. but And that's because th- really women should just like keep up their appearances and like have really nice hair and wear really nice shoes. But also um, not be repulsed by children to the point that you think that they smell like dog's droppings and want them obliterated abil- blitter- from the planet. So what I'm saying is... This movie seems like a um, metaphor for a bad mom. No? A woman that's really let herself go. I like it. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Good. Great. Good good read. (laughs) Thanks. It's no heroin uh, Lost Boys metaphor, but... No, but it's your second best metaphor. One day I'll get there. Um, Although it's not a metaphor. It's a... uh, Well, no, in Lost Boys it's a metaphor. Yeah. This one, you know, you know Roald Dahl didn't think that. What? He didn't think what? That women should dress nice and do their hair? And that if they and if they, they're not capable, okay. they must be fucking witches? I, okay, so see, he could, yeah, he, he could literally say they're witches. I was thinking it's more like it's ridiculous how people view women who don't have kids. It's like they're saying they're witches, and that's the problem that people think. It's not that okay. <laughs> where he's actually saying, no, if a woman doesn't have a kid, she's a witch. She's a witch. And also, if she if she doesn't keep up her appearance, witch. Witch. Um, like, he, he, this man hates women so very much. Um, case in point, Rosa Bulk. Uh, he does not write <laughs> heroin characters ever, right? Mm-hmm. Can you, um, James the Giant Peach, two hags. Of horrible women. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and so I think what he's saying is it could be anyone. You wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't see it coming because you think she's a nice girl and bam, won't have children. Bam, lets herself go. What's that up with her hair? Oh, my God. Her eyes are purple. And yeah, he just doesn't like. Uh, uh, he also doesn't like women who would meet in a group like that. What the fuck is what up with a woman about? who would go into a convention, who would have a life outside of a man? Are you fucking kidding me? That's disgusting. Which is. He was writing to he was writing to the uh, producers of the movie. He said he was uh, he felt dear sir very angry that he was being kept out of the loop. I would I do think it would be courteous if you kept me involved. Uh, you would rather have me on your side than against you. Oh, uh, I am a warlock. They shift a, they they sent him a copy of the script and he immediately wrote back with his comments. And then I'm reading directly from the book. Okay. Mostly unhelpful remarks like awful and stupid and useless. <laughs> And insisted in black ink scrawled across the bottom of the page that someone please show to Jim H. End quote. The movie got some negative attention from uh, real witches, from uh, I'm sorry. practitioners of Wicca. Oh. And um, Jim Henson had to do a lot of like public relations work to smooth things over with, with him. With the witches. He said that he, where is the quote? Please. This is interesting. Did he didn't have to do public relations for Christians who did not think he should have acknowledged the Wiccan community? Good point. Yeah, Are you Jim referring Hinson, to the tips of their nose or their non-pointy shoes, sir? Jim simply pleaded for patience. He wrote them in a letter, quote, while I am not an advocate of any one religion, I feel close to many of the concepts of the Wicca way of thinking. And for those reasons, I will try not to do anything that will harm any of you. End quote. Although he was a Christian scientist and he, he oh. um, refused medical treatment, which is probably why he died. That explains uh, Died it. pretty young and very tragically. And we lost a great person, a great artist. What do you think of the Muppets? Mm. And when do I not think of the Muppets? <laughs> you, oh, did what, you have more like to the Mupp- say? I asked what you think of the Muppets. Oh, uh, I think highly of them. All right. We might do a Muppet movie soon. Great. We're we're in talks to do Muppet Treasure Island. But uh, we'll see. What I don't happens. love the movie. I don't know what I think of Muppets now that I'm thinking about the movie. Uh, Big Bird Comes Home is, or Come Home or whatever just really fuck me up. Well, I'm thinking of Muppets proper, not the Sesame Street. Fine. Movies. But uh, I. Um, I just don't feel like people treat Muppets well. Did you ever see the Sesame Street 
segment where Bert and Ernie go into a mummy's tomb? No, I don't know. Well, that was the scariest thing I'd ever seen Uh when I was like three years old. I have very vivid memories of it. It's like with the Bob's Burgers butts and butts and butts episode. (laughs) Yeah, there's an episode where they just keep showing the assholes of dogs and stuff. They do. Oh, oh, that that's the one. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the one that has that song, butts and butts and butts. Oh. And she didn't like it. She really, which is reason. I don't. But now she likes it. All right, you you take us out, Lacey. I don't have any money. Just kidding. (laughs) Take us out. Um, All right. Well, do yourself a favor and subscribe and smash that subscribe button. That's how you subscribe. There's a movie for everyone. You, If you don't feel like watching a movie so that you know what the hell we're talking about here, I guarantee you, you've seen the great majority of the movies we have spoken about. And if you skip the first 10, you're probably okay because we really weren't that good in the beginning and now we're amazing. I think sometime um, around episode 62, we got good. That's hilarious. Um, please tell your friends and I feel like I've done a good enough job. Uh, did I wrap it up? You, you get the point. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.